Poker Rare is newly listed on Gate.io. Is it going to be hot or will it flop? That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. I'm Joanna Garzilli. This is Crypto Angel Network. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, lighting up that bell so that you get my notifications on what I'm finding and your likes and especially your comments. I want to hear from you. I love hearing from you. And so just keep it coming. I am going to go ahead and share my screen and we are going to dive into gate. For those of you who used my referral link, thank you. I appreciate that so very, very much. And for those of you who are not already on gate exchange, please do use my referral link because they have absolutely fantastic listings in my opinion. Am I giving away here what I think about, about Poker Rare? So that link is in my description below. And here we are. I mean, literally it has just gone live. So what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go full screen and then we're going to go, like I said, into some of the fundamentals. <clears throat> so let us take a look over here and it is, we are on the five minute chart right now. If I just switch, let me just see how long it's been out. I mean, it's literally just come out. If we go on the hour, um, <clears throat> because we're on a different time zone here, how many hours are we at here? It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, it says. But from where I am in the US, I just saw it come on an hour ago. So I think uh, different things in, in, different, in different time zones. Let's just go back. I want to go back to the five minute chart here and see what happened. So obviously we came on strong. We have a nice big I couldn't think for that for a moment. I was like, is it a wick or is it a stick? A candlestick, <laughs> which I had been the part, gosh, my gosh, going back to last year, I, I didn't even know <clears throat> what these were. I was like, what are these green and red things? So uh, for those of you who are newer to crypto, when we look at a candlestick and here the thinner part is the candle wick and this gives information about the high and the low within that particular time frame. So here we are on five minute time frames. And you can see also that when we go when we go to a a stick, uh, sorry, uh, a wick instead of a stick, when we get into that, that just means that there is a lower volume there, that there isn't a certainty in the direction. And what happened very quickly after that pump where <clears throat> Let's see. I'm trying to see in terms of the pricing. It came on at 0, 0.0657. It shot all the way up to just over two very quickly. And one of the things that my understanding is you have to watch out for when there's a launch that bots go and they'll quick, very quickly go and buy and then sell the token. And, and so this is not investment advice. You've got to do what feels right for you when you're getting any token. Is I think my understanding is it's better to to wait. Just wait for that initial don't go in in that first few minutes or so within that first five, ten minutes, and sometimes within that first half an hour, because this is very, very typical where you see a, a, a massive pump and then a very quick dump. So you have to watch for that. Yeah, and the, the only difference would be is that you already hold the token and then you are moving and depositing it over to another exchange because you want to go and sell it. But this Poker Rare is a brand new token. This is a a new DeFi project that has just launched. And I, th and I think it is very exciting. So we can see here, you know, right out the gate, it has, we did have, I feel like going from sort of from, he from here to here, we did go to a, s a slight higher high. And then very quickly we came, we, we retraced and we are right now, we are 
going on a, a, a downward trend, but only because that you know, this is just a media consolidation. And then we've got another green candle again here. And you can see that it was not overbought. If anything, over here, down here on the relative strength index, it was underbought. And I just want to switch a minute to, let's just switch to the 15 minute because it, when I, I see it gives a different point of view. So overall, let's just take a look here. I'm just going to look at uh, price, you know, in terms of price targets for an entry point of sh what would I be doing here? Would I be waiting for it to go lower or to go for an even greater consolidation? Or is it going to start to move to the upside very quickly? And this is different from, say, for example, where I just did a video on pig finance and, and it was... A, a totally different e experience and this is where I think that it is important to look at independently the the technical analysis but not just the technical because anything can happen one also wants to obviously look at the fundamentals and then you've got to just see what feels right for you for your portfolio so I don't I, I can see like there's a bottom here a support there's two look can you see there's like two support lines here here and and here as well i'm going to go with this i'm going to split the difference here hang on a sec let me just get this line horizontal line where oh there it is okay and let's go with let's go with green for the support and yeah i i do like this token i'm just i've done so many unexpected trades lately i just wanted to this is definitely on my list and i do i'm i'm actually not in any nfts for those of you who know me well here on the channel <laughs> i've gone into animals lately and uh and speaking of um, animals i am going to be doing i've lion lion video is coming next that is next that's going to be in the works and uh and and something else fun as well this is interesting because this is wild to sing I always find it quite unnerving when I am in a token and I start to see a red candle if I have it, but not if I want to buy it, obviously. So let's see, the price right here is 0 0.8441. That would be a, that's a, yeah, a support that seems to be in place here. And we're going to start to see that in, you know, in, in these, in these, I guess in these minutes and then these hours ahead. But the good news is, I mean, it's not, this is definitely, it's not, overbought in any capacity so there is a lot of room for it to move to the upside let's now go in and put our our resistance our resistance what does it have to break through and i'm going to put that i want to pick my spot i'm not going to go here let's go here because this just seems like the spot where we really I like to go with where I see a, a green candlestick and a red candlestick side by side. And you can see from the wick that it went more towards, was favoring more towards the downside. And that price there is 1.4666 right there. And then what I'm going to do here is we're going to take a trend line and I'm going to go from this point up here and I am going to let's follow it like this over the top here. I I am saying this out loud, so I do this. Some of you know that I got uh, certified with Ivan on Tech Blockchain Academy in technical analysis, and I've started the algorithmic trading course. And I am going to finish that because I want to do better. For you for me so i'm saying it aloud so that i get my ass in gear and get it done <laughs> i'm gonna get it done so that i can just be clearer but if you look back at some of my earlier videos from not that long ago from a couple of months ago you would say what is she what is she talking about so um but anyway i i'm very i'm i'm proud of myself because with a net investment of $25,000. I'm just sort of rounding it to that. The portfolio now within four month period is now over a hundred thousand. So uh, I'm going to see what's ha what happens. I'm not putting more money in. 
I'm just going to just keep trying to grow what's in there. And I know some of you have been doing brilliantly, like Crypto News, you've been doing amazingly, ex-Londoner, uh, guy, um, is it um, single guy in a coffee cup? Amazing. A uh, number of you are just just, just doing brilliant things. Ray Clamaco, I, I just love it. Kuchi Sensei. You just you're doing amazing stuff, and I love when you share here for the Crypto Angel Network community of what tokens you like and what's coming up as well. Do you have something comparable that you like alongside P Rare, alongside Poker Rare? So what we're watching for now, right now, and this, let's see. I would say we're just. So what's this time frame on this? This is a different time zone from me because it says 6 p.m. here but here for me what time is it it's it's uh 7 7 7 almost 7 50 p.m. pacific time so in this next seat let's see one two what do we got three like in this next sort of three hours or so we we'll want to watch and see is it going to break out now right now the volume isn't really there this this launch is not yeah it's not like all fired up and i think that could possibly be because it is literally just listed so new a lot of people don't even know about it so i would think that i would imagine that it's going to move to the upside we should start to see it move back up and retest at 1.4 686 I'm trying to see 686 I said 666 before 686 anyway it doesn't doesn't really matter around that area so just when you go and you look on the chart just make sure to to check for that and just know that if you think hmm there isn't the volume there well I think that's a golden opportunity because as more people find out about it that I I do believe it's going to to do really really well and and if we're going to compare it to something i think that probably we'll take a look in a moment at a bake bakery uh, bakery token because i feel like that's similar in in line with it similar but different and also cake as well so let me just minimize this and I want us to come over here and we can, you know, we'll come back and take a, another look afterwards. I just want to go over to Poker Rare here. So this is a Web3 economy for unique and scarce digital assets powered by it's on, on Polkadot and Polygon, which um, Polygon is doing fantastically and growing very, very quickly and and should continue to do really great things this year. And I had done a number of Polygon videos uh, actually going back a couple of months ago. And it's also an Ethereum and Binance smart chain. So we can see here, what do they say, what they offer? Multi-chain NFT marketplace. For those of you who are new to crypto, NFT means non-fungible token. And uh, within that, they are offering, it says social features, gasless transactions and 3D art gallery. Now, the gasless transactions, that's amazing because that is a big thing here that I I read and I hear within the blockchain community is the price of gas and Ethereum is not getting any cheaper. So to be able to do that without those, those fees is a big deal. Multi-chain wallet to store NFTs and digital assets. Fantastic collections, rare NFT drops, which include licensed art, music, and, and sports cards. Then we've also got NFT collateralized loans. Put your NFT assets up as collateral for a loan or offer loans to other users on their non-fungible tokens. That is really cool. I have not looked to see if Bakery does that. I, I wonder if that is a way that they are making a distinction there for themselves. So I'm going to, I'm going to, let's actually, let's, we'll take a look at that. And let, let's take a look at that actually a sec. Let me go to, hang on, let me pop onto my Shiba tab here. I'll come back to you, Shiba pup. I'll come back to you. Uh, let's go bakery swap because I, I really like this as well. And I didn't go into this 
right away. This is another token that is on Gate, and I, I think it's on Binance Smart Chain as well, that I think is really, really hot. And I said hot, there we go, hottest artwork. Look at this, they got, they've got bakery gallery launching and, and crypto, I like that, look at that, crypto doggies. So they've got, let's see, they've got uh, hmm, earning. Okay, so, um, and some of their artwork's amazing, but we're not gonna go all into bakery now. I just wanna have a look in terms of, hang on, ETH info. Let's, let's just see what it says for earning. All it says is connect to a wallet. Let's look at liquidity, add liquidity, launch pad, crypto doggies. I like that. I don't see that on bakery swap. I just don't, I don't see that. I don't see that feature. Let's just take a look over here. Info at bakery, because I, I, when I'm doing fundamental analysis, I like to look at, well, what does something have versus something else? I don't, no, I don't, I don't see that on there. So let's just come back over to Poker Air. This to me, this excites me. This says, oh, wow, the team have really, really um, thought about this in a big way. This idea of putting your NFT assets up as collateral for a loan. That's, that's pretty powerful. So that is a big plus point, I think, that is going to add a lot of value for it in the long run. NFT price discoverability protocol, price discovery models that determine the realistic value of your NFTs. That's awesome as well, because, you know, when I think of when I was a kid, my 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 dad would always on the weekend take me to in London to Christie's and Sotheby's Art Gallery. And we would go in and meet with yeah, the different uh, associates there, people from the gallery that would do valuation on different art pieces and art from art that my family had to art that my family was looking to buy. And and that is a really important, it's, it's very, very important, especially for people who are collecting art. So this this idea of a price discovery model and to get that true value where it's not inflated and 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 where it's not undervalued either, where you, you're sitting on something and you just don't know how great it is. Like the um, growing up also, I used to uh, remember like you'd have the antiques road show. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, this thing you got here. Oh, I got this picture from my Aunt Doreen. And uh, oh, I didn't know it was worth a hundred thousand pounds. That's absolutely amazing. All right, so utilities, the P-Rare or Pre, Pre I want to call it Prairie, is the native currency for the poker rare. Prairie, Prairie, like Prairie Dog without the eye. It is the fuel that powers the economy. So we've got governance, medium exchange, staking rewards, NFT, farming, exclusive drops. And then here, where are we at now? We are in let's see, we are in quarter two still. So we've got listing, staking, test net launch, wallet integration, trade features, main net launch, rewards programs, and the and the IDO here. What's coming up? What have we got to look forward to in terms of how will this affect the uh, price target? What can we expect for Poker Air in terms of you know, depending on are you looking to huddle or are you looking to go in and out of something quickly and 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 make your gains? Well, let's see. Social features, additional trade currencies, NFT farming collection drops, NFT mining APIs, reward program version two. And then finally in quarter four, we've got governance portal, mobile support. So I guess that's not fully in place yet. NFT price discovery. That to me, that, that really stands out to me there. And the NFT loans and the 3D content support. So quarter four, I would imagine quarter four, as that stuff starts to come online, there should be quite a noticeable jump up. So the question like one would have to ask oneself is, and again, this is not investment advice, but this is just like how I think through things when I'm going to do something. Do I want to go in now, just get some and, and, and hodl it? Because when I look at this, this says to me that 
the big moves for poker rare are going to come in that fourth quarter and then as that catches on more i would say probably in you know right around december january that it can make some big moves and then of course we have to take into consideration if after this historic year where a lot of people feel we are in a super cycle what sort of correction is going to happen overall in the marketplace in 2022 and factor that in. These are the things to think about because some people want to hold things for the longer term and some just, you know, you just want to take the profits. I think this is going to be really strong. If I was going to say uh, a price prediction for December, December 2021, where can I... Let me just come back here. Where do I imagine Poker Rare December 2021? I, I, and the number that pops into my head, this is more of my gut analysis coming in here, is I would say $40. I could see it at $40 because if we are, we haven't had everything go crazy parabolic yet. And I just, I think they're really, Poker Rare, they've, They've really thought it out in terms of who their their competitors are within the space. I mean, there's space for all of them, just like I said before. So if, if you've got Poker Rare and you've got a uh, bakery, well, it's like having Christie's and Sotheby's. I'm just using that sort of as, uh, you know, as an example. And then other mainstream art brands. And, um, you know, and I know there's, what's it, there's um, oh, that, the ocean, right? Um, Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Please write in the comments what it is. Something ocean, but um, that also for the for the NFTs as well. So yeah, so I'm I'm gonna say around forty dollars for end of twenty twenty one, just because this is a wild year, and I do feel like this is that you know these NFT markets. Uh, um, ecosystems are gonna just start to catch on more and more i know there was like the, the crazy everything went nuts and then it just sort of it went very bearish and now it is it's like i feel like it's just it sort of like hit the floor and now it's just starting to really build in a in a, in a proper way so let me just go back to this i got excited there and let me know what do you think what are your what is your you know what price prediction do you what are you leaning towards for um what are you leaning towards for your price so tokenomics here let's see we've got um company reserves 10 percent the team 12 percent advisors 3%, marketing partnerships 10%, exchange liquidity 3%. Anyway, the total, you can look at all of that separately. Total supply 100 million, an initial market cap of 450,000, which leads me then to let's pop over here. If that initial market cap was 450,000, look at where we are at today. We don't have the market cap, but we have had a trading volume right now here based off of this. It says of just over, over 23 million. And the price right now here on here, it says 94 cents, market rank 2,539. Let's say I'm gonna feel, I feel good. I wonder how, 90% oh, of people feel good about Poker Air. Love that. Fully diluted market cap. No, almost 95 million, 95 million. And then we look here, initial market cap, 450,000. Let's hop over to CoinGecko, shows different information. It's actually not, I like CoinGecko a lot, but lately I've noticed that Coin Market Cap seems to have, have more numbers more quickly. They're just on top of it faster, even though I, I like both very much. See, it says trading volume here, 10 11 million but here it says 23 million and i and i know that that number here on gate io is where is it the trading volume on here is 12.6 million that's happening off of there 
So let's just pop down here. What I do like on CoinGecko is we can see within 24 hours. I mean, it's not, it's nine hours. That's a number. So that all time low was just under 79 cents. The all time high, it says $1.35, but actually it was higher than that. I just showed you that it went over $2. So what can we, based off of that, what can we expect in the immediate short term with the price? What are we looking at, say, by, um, we're, we're now May the 11th. What can we look at by the end of May? I mean, I think we could very um, quickly pop up to five, five dollars, six dollars. I don't think that that would be unreasonable. So that's the number that I'm going with that. Let's pop back over here into it. Let's get back into it. Poker rare, poker rare. And um, in the past hour, it's down. Good, good time if you're going to make a trade, get in and do a trade. And you can see here that on Uniswap, the volume was almost 11 million. And it says on gate, that's around right for, for your US dollar tether trading pair, um, almost 11 million as well. So it's 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 very close to Uniswap. And then you, you can do Ethereum as well, but you can see the volume. I've done trading on gate in Ethereum and uh, it just, yeah, it just, it's, it's slower because there's, there's many less people. We've only got 90, just un under 93,000 there. But sometimes people don't want to go and they don't want to have to double trade from say Ethereum to US dollar tether and then US dollar tether uh, to, to say to PRA because you know, you just got more fees and it takes longer, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just, I want to bring you over to this now and show you what problem does Poker Rare solve? Currently, most of the NFT platforms are based on Ethereum. However, problems of network congestion, Ethereum transaction fees are now becoming a problem for NFT creations and transactions. Um, by the way, this is coming from blogtianeo.com. The Poker Rare platform aims to be a cross-chain NFT platform where creators and users can optimize the blockchains they want to use and move them seamlessly across different networks. In its early stages, Poker Rare allows NFT generation on Ethereum and Polygon chains. In phase two, it's going to deploy on Binance Smart Chain and then gradually it'll expand to other blockchain networks. Perhaps, I don't know, they haven't mentioned Cardano there, but could that be the case? And um, But they're giving an example here of Polkadot main net and then um you can see this is what i i again i think this really this is i feel like again i'm gonna say it again because i feel it really strongly when i have a strong instinct with something i probably i repeat it four or five times <laughs> I sound like it's like an echo because i want you to hear it i really feel this nft collateralized loans is a big deal and I really like this thing around the price discoverability so that you can price the NFT you own. And then the royalties here, NFT creators can set a commission for secondary transactions. The Poker Rare token hold will be able to set this limit higher. And then the social features, you know, like, well, I think that is going to be also on, say, on Bakery as well. And then multi-content support both 2D and 3D. And that is something that right now I am going to hop back, back over to Bakery. Because, uh, oh, sorry, let me just go back over here. If we go to the NFT marketplace, uh, no, the Bakery, hang on, the Bakery Gallery. Oh, do you see that doge there? Hang on a sec. Just bear with me a sec. This 3D stuff is just off the chart. So that I think this is what's going to be coming on, 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 uh, on P rare. And uh, I just, this is just, look at this. This is just so cool. This 3D art is incredible. So when you've got certain mainstream artists, I'm trying to think who it was. David Hock, was it David Hockney? very famous, um, very famous British artist who said that, um, said that this idea of NFTs, it's just useless and ridiculous. Something's buffering here with this. Let me just, but now we've got this. Uh, so I guess this is sound on this one as well, but it's really um, experiential. And then um, let me just go back to a different one. I don't think this one has sound. Let me just go to this one. I think this is really, really cool as well. But I, I like that whole image of that one. I just showed you the mint one. 
So this is by Neo UR. Look at this, the, this 3D NFTs. This is so cool. Well, how is it not art? Because I imagine people eventually, sort of like where I've seen billboards from when I did live in LA, and it would be, you know, it's like a TV screen. So instead of just having a frame with a static picture on it, a canvas uh, or some type of parchment or whatever that type of paper is, instead you have a screen and then you have you have your art just moving there. I, I think it's amazing. I just think it's so, so cool. I love this stuff. And I imagine that whoever is going to create sort of like the frames or you know, the physical frames to then be able to have your NFT art in it. That's going to be uh, super, super cool. So, I mean, there's just so much cool stuff here. So with Poker Rare, I imagine that is what they're going to be focused on. Actually, um, Priyana Gill, who's the CEO here and founder based in London, entrepreneur, journalist, angel investor, and um, Sandeep uh, Sudagani, uh, founder and CEO at Playcent, leading interactive uh, uh, decentralized apps and NFT platform. And then we've got long-term crypto enthusiast here, Dylan Dudini. You can go and look at all of them. It's always good to look at people's backgrounds and just see, do you, do you resonate? They've got so much backing here. Lots of, they've got Moon Whale, Block Sync Ventures, Raptor, Astronaut Capital, Magnus, Kronos, their big one, partners in ecosystem, um, ecosystems, Poker Foundry, and uh, I mean, you know, they're just super, super, super strong. So um, yeah, so I just, I think this is gonna be really, really um, exciting. And I imagine that it's going to do super well. I want to just come back over to, I know what I wanted to do. I was having to think at the same time. Let's just take a look because, you know, I would say that the bakery is sort of, you know, they are, a bakery and poker rare are going to be competitors to each other there. Let's just take a very quick look at that. And just, uh, let's just see here. And you can see that, let me just move this. See right now, bakery is at it's at six. It's pumping. Look at it pumping. Wow. I mean, that is quite a pump here. From what around? Where do we go from here? What was this? I mean, even not even that long ago, just like in a in fifteen minutes, and just like within a day or so, it went from. Just under five dollars, just just over five dollars, and it's popped up to six twenty something, and and you can see here that I think this is where um, that initial whoa NFTs, and then everything sort of calmed down, and then people got a little like oh NFTs, it's not lasting, uh, but of course they're going to be around, and now everyone's you know people are starting to like I said before, it's starting to stabilize. So this is a good indicator when you look at that. Um, bakery is here and if we go to the let's go to the one day chart on this and this launched right in uh let's see it says march march oh february 21st and very similar look you see how right when it launched there was this pump although i'm going on the one day and then we went we went red downward trend downward trend but it's not downward trend it's just consolidation that consolidation went for what all the way here for what a month and a half or so we're end of february and now end of april so march april two months two months boom so do you have time to get into poker rare absolutely it's you know so what am I going to do? Am I going to go in right away? I do like this a lot. I actually, I like bakery as well. I've been eyeing it. I think they're both in incredible projects. And this is very, this is very, very positive. And again, we can see after this pump, some consolidation here on bakery. So it did have an all time high of 850. And so this says to me that it is because it's a little bit ahead of poker rare, I just feel like it's going to go, 
you know, you're going to have things like Uniswap that are going to pop up to $80, $90. And then you'll have, I think, like Bakery, Poker Rare go up to 40 You know, that's sort of like the, that's the way I'm just looking at it, think about it. What what do you think? You You let me know in the comments. So this we can see here with Bakery that we could then... If we just go back to, if we go back to p -Rare and here we go. Let's, let's just go full screen again. Hang on a sec. What happened here? Let me just go back to this. Bear with me. Yeah, you can, you can, on the one day, let's just switch back to the 15 minute again. So right, the cons it, it had a very similar type of launch out the gate, consolidation setting in. You're gonna see it move to the upside, then probably some more consolidation. A Couple of months from now, it should go on quite a big pump again. I think it's gonna do similar to bake. Those are my thoughts. So I'm definitely bullish on Poker Rare. I think it's a really, really strong project. And something that I like is when you go to markets here on Gate.io, my link, my referral link is in the description for this video below. We get to share in that trade commission together. It ends up being, we split it 40%. I get 30%, you get 10%. And let's see, newly listed. Let's just take a look, little looky here. We should hear, here it is, P-Rare. Whoa. So that was the 24 hour change. It went up over a thousand percent. A thousand percent. Very, very, very strong out the gate. And then actually it's different. You know, I should you got coin gecko, coin market cap. We can see it's actually over 12 million for the 24 hour volume so that to me that bodes really well when something has really really low volume and it's not even like so many people don't know about it yet they just don't know it's exciting i think it's very very exciting yeah let me know in the comments are you bullish are you bearish on it did you already get poker rare are you going to get it what are your price targets for it entry point are you gonna uh, hold or are you just going to swing trade it? Or Let's have a conversation around it. All right, that's it. I'm trying to do shorter videos. I can't bloody shut up. I say, like, I've got a timer coming. I've ordered a timer from Amazon so that I can see a countdown clock because I just, I just can't stop talking. And um, when I was a teenager, Oh, my mom, um, back then you didn't have call waiting or anything and I'd be on the landline and I'd get on the phone and I'd be on for some four hours. She'd be like, Joanna, I've been trying to phone and it's been engaged the whole time. It's been engaged. And uh, I'd be like, mom. So I would just run up as a teenager many years ago. Uh, obviously it's many years ago. And I'm just trying to think. She'd be like, Joanna. It's a 400 pound phone bill. So what's that? It's like $600. It's bloody ridiculous. My gosh, my mom, she should have punished me for that. I got away with too much. She let me get away with too many things. I was, I was a good teenager, but I was naughty as well. So uh, there you go. Thank you for staying with me because you got to uh, hear about how I can't stop talking. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Um, leave me your comments and I will message you back and beware of those scammers as well with the WhatsApp thing and all that. Just know that's not me. All right. Lots of love to you and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.